Story time about me um, starting another job either now or in the near future. A um, reason why I would want to start another job, y'all, if y'all, if y'all need, since y'all need to know, it's because um, first off, uh, I'm really getting tired of being in this damn um, apartment all the damn time. There's only so much damn shit you can do in, in this apartment. Staying here all day long, not having nothing to do, and then my pepper is gone. Remember, I told you all about him um, a few times. Yeah, so, um, it gives me a chance to get out the house as well, um, and meet new people, and um, also um, get a chance to know somebody, and it's about that time that I am single and ready to mingle. That's right, y'all. You know? Everybody needs somebody. We shouldn't... We, were, we weren't... Believe it or not, we weren't even made to be single. We were made... We were made... To be fruitful and multiply. Well, I don't know about the multiplying part. Cause see, I already did all of that multiplying and that's it. So, as far as that's concerned, I'm not having any more kids, but, um, I already did the, the be fruitful and multiply thing, but, um, I should be able to, um, meet, meet somebody nice and decent, because I'm a decent person, I deserve, I deserve to have somebody, actually, everybody does deserve to have somebody, we weren't meant to be on, we weren't meant to be on this earth by ourselves. And anybody who says um, otherwise, I, me personally, I don't believe it. There's somebody out there for everybody. It's just that we got to learn how to be patient and not just settle and just pick any old body. And, and um, yeah, that's about it. Um, because I know that when, when I used to say, oh, I want somebody, I want somebody, I always wind up with people that um, just wanted to, um, to use me and stuff like that. And I don't deserve that. I'm, I'm a decent person, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, this is where I keep kept always going wrong by just um, dealing with any old body when I should have been been able to look to God and, and uh, wait for his blessings, you know? Not just go out and just deal with any old body because I deserve, I deserve the best because I am the best, you know? So... I gotta start thinking about myself like that and stop thinking about myself in a negative light. Um, yeah, that's some, and then also, um, uh, I did meet somebody a long time ago, but like I was telling y'all before my story time, the one where I was doing the story time, how I was like, I miss them so much. But the them was my, was my, uh, was my, was my friend. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say my love. He was a good man, but I, as usual, I didn't know what a good thing was when I saw it, so I screwed that up. And so now it's like I feel like um, I feel like you know what I gotta do now. I gotta wait because that's the only thing to do is just wait on wait on the, um on God and the ancestors to be able to um, link me up with somebody. And it's not just any old body. It has to be a special somebody because I, I deserve it. I don't deserve to um, just be with any old body because I've seen some people who got boyfriends and stuff like that don't deserve it. But as to why they with them, I guess that's one of those things where they just decided to settle just for any old thing, you know? And it doesn't make any sense to me because I'm a good person. At least I think I am. I don't know if anybody how anybody else feels about me, but I I already know I'm, I'm confident that that I'm decent. Sometimes sometimes I feel like I'm just too kind now, and I need to cut that cut that um ish out. It's ridiculous. I'm not a bad person, and I deserve somebody. It's just that. You gotta work on God's timing, and that's it. God and the ancestors. He's the only one that has the perfect timing. Man, man doesn't have any perfect timing. 
man's timing is all messed up because half of these people get on these dating apps, wind up going, gone missing and stuff like that, um, linking up with the wrong people. And I don't want that. I want I want somebody that's that could be special and near and dearer to me. Somebody who's the um they could be a little bit of the opposite of me. Cause for me, myself and I, um, I love my music. I love to um I love to get on um YouTube and watch all of my videos and stuff like that. Because y'all all as y'all know that I suffer from a, a great deal of depression at times and so um, that helps me out as well when, when I'm getting on YouTube and I'm and I'm looking at videos and all of that good stuff. That really helps me out with my depression because sometimes I can suffer from it really bad. Um, I go out and I talk to people or, or, and stuff like that, but I don't really have anybody that I could like really call a friend, somebody who I could say, okay, let's let's go out here today and hang out and. You know, mingle and all of that stuff, and go to the movies and all of that good stuff. I thought I had all of that, but I didn't have all of that. I just winded up just settling and dealing with people who didn't want even so much as to be bothered with me. They wanted to be bothered with me on their time. And those are not the people that you should call friends. I shouldn't call friends. Nobody should call people like that friends because. They didn't, they didn't deserve, nobody deserves my time like that, you know? Um, and also, um, yeah, that's about it. And also, um, what else? Uh, um, and then when I, I do want to go back to work eventually, so that I can meet new people and... Oh, but this time, I forgot to tell y'all, this time around, I was thinking about going for, like, instead of, like, five days, I was thinking about going for two days because I, I find myself getting ang anxious and sometimes having an anxiety attack. I don't let anything happen. Big, big, big at the job, like the previous job that I was at. They had, child, they had too much going on in that place, you know? So, yeah. Um, I think two days out of the week would be good good for me just to get out of the house and be able to meet new people. I was thinking about, um, I don't know, like, sort of like working with the, with the uh, ASPCA because, you know, I'm a huge animal lover as well. And y'all seen, y'all seen videos of my lady as well lately. She got, she got, um, I got like quite a few videos on, on here of her, her and I, and we did a, uh, a, a, um, a song. We was dancing to the song, uh, Nobody Loves Me, Like You Do. Yeah, we was doing that video together. She was on a couple of my videos. Y'all seen her. For all the newcomers, I'm just talking about my, um, I'm just talking about the cat and how I really enjoy having her here. And she really, really, um, makes my day go smoothly. Because if she wasn't here, I don't know where I would be. Because I'm used to having my pepper. This August 1st will be, um, two years that he's been gone. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's a, it's about that time that I get another animal, but having a dog is very expensive, and I don't want to get, just get a dog just yet. I'd rather go to work, even if it could be, like, two days out of the week. I just want to be able to go to work and, and, um, be able to get up and get out and go and do something and go and, um, meet new people and be able to socialize because that's what I'm one of the people I love socializing a lot so for me to be in the house it's just not good for me to just sit up in the house and that's it I don't really have much to do but um clean up um I talk to my daughters and stuff like that but you know what yesterday I forgot to tell y'all I was on sort of on the sad side it was just disturbing but I didn't really think anything was wrong with me. My daughter had noticed it. And said, well, mommy, what's the matter with you? I was like, I was like, child, it's just one of those days where, you know, you just feel down and out because you don't have nobody to hang out with, nobody to mingle with. Um, You can't call everybody your friend like you would want them to. You want to have them as a friend, but they don't see it like that. They want to be bothered with you when they want to be bothered with you. 
And no, those are not friends. That's not what that's not what I'm here to do on this earth. Um so it's just I had one of those days where I was like in, like in a ah, uh, you know, in one of those those depressive states yesterday. She said that I sounded sad too. I was like, really? She was like, Yeah, I just she said she just sensed it yesterday. I didn't really think about that though, but I'm glad that she sensed it, and also I I forgot to tell you I told her that um I don't want to put all of this this um I don't want to bombard them with all of this oh if, um mommy if you sad then you can call us or something take our lives in their own because I know some parents have this thing where they just like oh call me and stuff like that because you know I get sad and stuff. But I don't want to make that their responsibility, though, when I, when I get into on them, in them stages. That's not their job. They got lives, too. And, you know, I don't want to put that burden on them, so I just don't bother them. I just deal with it the best way I know how. I pray about it. Um, I'm able to get on the phone, you know, do what I got to do, and making my videos... That makes me happy as well. So that gets me out of that state, you know. That bluesy state, it gets me out of that as well. Just being able to get up and talk to y'all. Make my cooking videos and all of that good stuff. Um, asking y'all questions. And then when y'all when y'all comment, it also helps a lot. I'm always very gracious. I always say thank you because I always... Am, I, I am so humble that um, I always show it. I'm always I'm always appreciative of all of the love that my loyal subscribers send to me. Even the ones that's not my subscribers, I appreciate y'all as well. You know, I can't really name drop like I would like to name name drop because I just love name dropping. But you know, due to YouTube's policies and guidelines, they won't let you really name drop. So. Y'all know who y'all are. I appreciate y'all all from the bottom of my heart. Without y'all, there would be no um, Kendra's Dirty Laundry. Um, yeah, and that's um, that's about it for that topic. Um, on to the next topic is um, that man. I'm, you know what? I'm so happy that I lost left that job. Actually, I didn't really leave. I was fired because somebody known as Head and Shoulders. Didn't want to listen to me. He wanted to listen to other people. He wanted to listen to his boss. Didn't give me a chance to say nothing. He just he just did what he had to do and just let me go and that's it. Me personally, I think that was wrong how he did that. Because I didn't, I didn't mention any, like I said before y'all. I didn't mention any names or anything like that. So I don't think that's, that's right what he did to me. I think he should have just let me stay there and that's it. Because if you ain't going to mention any names when you at a job or any name titles or name drop about anybody in particular, yeah, it's not right what he did. And I don't feel like that that's right that he even let me go. But, um, yeah. Um, I didn't even want to really be there anyway. The first time I saw it the first year, it, it was okay. I ain't going to I ain't gonna hold none, none of y'all. It was okay. Um, the only thing I didn't like is the fact that um, I felt like when, say for example, if you got your coworkers that's not coming in, right? Guess who has to take the load up? Whoever's there is taking the double load or triple load. And I don't think that's fair. I understand they say, oh, welcome to doing... um." Welcome to doing overtime or whatever you want to call that crap. Yeah, I think they they should have um, they should have uh let some somebody know in advance. In advance, don't wait until the last minute. I was taking on all of these loads. I felt like I was being overworked anyway, overworked and underpaid, so it wasn't even worth all of that. The site that I was at it was nasty anyway and disgusting and, and full of all sorts of um insects and stuff. So the 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 building was just nasty. Staff was nasty. I guess it goes with your environment. The cleaner the envi the uh, cleaner your environment, the more you feel. You know? 
it goes along with that as well. But yeah, pretty much. I'm glad. I'm glad that he that he told me to go, and that's it. I didn't want to be there anyway. If I didn't even like my last job either, it was the same damn way. Nasty and disgusting. The uh, the food trucks were full of roaches. They'll be running all all along the sides, all up in the plates and shit like that. So it was disgusting. It, it was filthy. Everything was about it was nasty. The first job as well that I had. I ain't never seen so many damn fucking roaches in one damn place. And then I used to complain about it. I said, oh, oh, um, when you can bring the uh, carts down here, we got to clean it together. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Shit was never, always fucking dirty and disgusting. Um, they didn't never clean them damn carts out. It was nasty. The whole fucking kitchen was nasty. And then they used to have somebody that used to work there. I mean, they had somebody working there. He was a fucking buzzard. Always, um, acting creepy and shit like that. And it's like, wherever I went, he went. If I went went inside, inside to where I had to work at, he had gone inside to act like he was doing something and talking to one of the, um, to one of my co-workers. And then I'm looking at him and shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Um... Yeah, it's like whatever I was doing, he wanted to do. I'm like, this man is fucking creepy as shit. So I'm, so at the end of the day, I'm glad that I left that 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 job because he was a damn creep at creep any old damn way, you know. I didn't like being around him. And the other job, I had that same damn problem where I was working with a creep. I don't like working with creeps. So I'm glad that they told me to leave. It's the fact that it's the fact that on um how they did it. It's what I did not like. You could have been there. You should have sat down and been able to listen to me. We have that much of a right to be listened to. Not just take your somebody's word for it and that's it. They could be wrong and I could be right for all you know. But you ain't want to even take my word for it. You, you know what made it so bad is that when he sat me down, he didn't even listen to what I had to say. He just says, he says, or oh, come back a couple of days from now. What the fuck is this shit here? Come back a couple of days from now. I ended up leaving that bitch. And then I come back over there to get my shit up out of my motherfucking locker. Um. Now I was child. I was get to crying in the carrying on. Child. It was a hot ass mess. Crying all over the place. I mean I was crying so damn much. You could have swore you was um. You was in the um. And the Hudson Dam River, that's how much damn tears I was dropping. It was just horrible, you know? It was disastrous. Because I was used to being somewhere, I got up and I went, I got up and I got to work and then I came back. And the only, you know what fe- good feeling I had when I was working there is the fact that I get up and God was able to bless me with somewhere to go every single day. I know it was a job and all that other good stuff, but... Um, at the end, I didn't really like it, but then, when I think about it, I was glad I was able, I felt blessed that I was able to get up and just, just, just get up and go. I know you had that feeling like, it's like, I'm so happy that I'm able to get up and go, because there's a lot of people that want to do so much, like go to work and shit like that, they're not able to do it, because they got a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, um, a lot of disabilities or something like that, meaning that I'm talking about physical disabilities, that they're not able to do all of that, but they can do everything else, but it's the physical disabilities that, that holds them back. So I felt blessed in that, that aspect. And that I was able to socialize and meet new people over there. I was, I felt very blessed. I really do. And, um, Truth be told, you know that I was supposed to be gone a long time ago from there almost because a long time ago when um, I got there, um, when I was making these um, fixing, supposed to be, um, I fixed the plates and stuff like that. I go to take the food, I go plop, plop, plop on the plates with the food. And I didn't do it nicely. I was in a rush and all this other shit. Um... We got, this, we got, um, somebody in there fucking telling on me and shit like that. It's like, they just didn't care. Fucking running their damn mouths and shit like that. 
I had to be told um, to stay downstairs. I think that happened like one or two days or some shit like that. And then he's, he allowed me to go back to the floors so I could start serving the plates much better than I, what I was doing before because I was a hot ass mess when I first started there. But I, didn't, I didn't really know what I was doing, you know. And so I kept at it and I kept at it. I eventually did it. I eventually did a great job at it. Um, somebody is always telling on me for, you know, I think she was doing that shit because, because it just made her feel good. Cause she was one of those hating ass bitches in that job. She still is actually. This is the bitch that got me fired from fact from the fucking job. You know, you got hating ass people that don't like to see you do good. And nine times out of ten, it's always our own. We don't like to see people doing good, but in, and other um, and uh, and other um, ethnic groups, we always congratulate them, we applaud them, but we don't do that with ours. And it's sad, you know. It's sad when you could do that to us. It's sad when, how you could be jealous of somebody because they may be doing good. Second damn time around, she did that shit. Hard huh, this all this um this other stink fat broad. Just had surgery, still eating. Calling the kitchen. Oh, she ain't gonna feed me. And I don't think that's right. Yeah, that's why I'm calling down to the kitchen. But she didn't want to give me my 20 pounds of chicken McNuggets and, and, and french fries and mashed potatoes. And I said, I looked at her and I, and I was like, I thought, you, I thought you just had that surgery. Obviously, she didn't take the shit too seriously. The damn woman just had surgery. She's she's probably probably like bigger than my whole damn apartment. Literally, no exaggeration. And she just had surgery. I mean, if you don't take care of yourself, who's gonna take care of you? That's what I want to know. And you got the other one, gap tooth, mild ahead, in her gap teeth, running her damn mouth, calling out to the kitchen. Talking about, I was talking about, about her. I ain't mentioned no names or nothing. Sat up there and told them lies, but at the end of the day, you know what? God's got something in store for me. He has a plan, so I need to stick to the plan, and so that's what I'm going to do. I need to understand that assignment, so I'm going to stick to that assignment, and from there, that's it. And then when they're going to see me blow up or whatever... Then they're gonna be looking all looking all stupid and jealous and shit like that. The other one, she was a hot ass mess. She used to try and boss people around and tell people what to do. You ain't nobody's damn boss. Go to your damn house and go and boss your damn kids around. You gonna boss and boss no grown ass people around. Half of them probably growner than you. She's around my age, acting like she acting like she was about sixteen or seventeen years old, acting like a whole fucking little kid. Some people just don't know when to grow up. Some some people like it when they act childish. They don't want to see themselves grow up. So this is why some people act the way they act, you know? Because they don't see no other way to get their attention. So this is what they do. But, um... Yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. And, um... Until next Tuesday, y'all. Okay, y'all? Oh! Comment, comment, no, subscribe, like, click, share, and comment, tell a friend to tell a friend, and share, share, share the video. Please, y'all, please leave a comment, all right? Okay, y'all, talk to you next week. Bye!